Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to make an Arduino page and I'm going to use the embossed uh, napkins I've showed you two videos ago uh, how to make and I've already used one I also showed you here on making the stars I've used one of them here and it's 1am and I know I'm crazy but you'll probably uh, uh, be hearing my hobby, my dear hobby, snoring in the living room. So that's uh, what it's going to be. Sometimes that's the only uh, time I have the house quiet to and time to make some art. So I'm going to start with some gesso to make uh, my background. And I'm not going to put it uh, all over my page. Just I'm going to keep some kind of frame from the page without the gesso. kind of boring but I'll be done in a minute so we can continue to something that isn't so boring watching me do I don't uh, mind all this, uh, like, um, dust, <laughs> I don't know, from the gesso. It's going to just uh, add to my texture in the background. I'm going for some look of a uh, brick wall, so it just uh, goes with it, so I don't mind. Okay, so now it uh, needs to dry, so I'll pause uh, the video and I'll come back. I'm back. So now I want uh, to make a brick wall out of this uh, background. I've got this stencil and I'm going to show you a kind of a trick. If I use, I'll use this uh, right here my bricks will be a uh, the color of the spray I will uh, use but I want to keep my bricks with uh, the color of the gesso so to achieve this what I need is to spray my stencil with the color that I want this is black spray uh, made of a uh, brushu powder that Nina sent me <coughs> sorry now you take the stencil and basically you use it as a negative <coughs> sorry <coughs> something got stuck in my throat And here we go. So basically, you just use it as a negative. And you don't have to use all of it. You can just tap it down like this. Another thing I think you can use 
I haven't tried it but now I just thought about it maybe I can take an ink pad put it on uh, my stencil and then flip it over maybe it will work I don't know for now I'm just using this it doesn't have to be accurate it just needs to give the impression of a brick wall Okay, so I've got my background of a brick wall and now I will move on to my uh, embossed napkins uh, that I highlighted with gold. I wanted to show you, I've told you I will be experimenting with this one, I are the one that I showed you uh, on the video and I've experimented I went and used a darker napkin and just a variety to see how they'll come together and this was the, the darkest one I had and I think it turned out just beautifully but I will not be using this ones uh, here here I want the more, the more colorful ones, so moving this aside, I've got these three and now I'm going to just fold it in half and a little bit less than half, I don't want it symmetrical, I'm leaving like a one millimeter here and I will be I'll bring it close so you can see what I'm doing and then I'm folding it a little bit like this and I want it to look like a flower here we go I hope you can see this I'll make another one this of course I have to glue here we go another one I'm folding it almost in half leaving a uh, one to two millimeters and making some fold and I've got another flower here and here is the third one folding it so I've got now three flowers that I need to glue I'm going to take my silicone glue and I'm putting a little bit here where the fold is and just until it will dry I'm going to put a bulldog clip here to hold it I've got the three flowers and basically I want them something like that and I want a stem I'm going to take this uh, 3d paint which also goes by the name of uh, tulip or puff paint or a uh, fabric paint whatever you know it there are several names for it Oh, it's giving me 
trouble. <laughs> I'm adding a little bit here on the pointy side of the, my flower and now for another one Third one. I like swirly thing. Okay. Didn't go so well, but what the heck. into swirly so okay so I'm going to let it dry a bit and I'll come back I'm back so kind of a simple background and process I just want to add a word I have a simplify I've cut it and inked around the edges with the ink pad and a sponge so this will probably go somewhere here or here now I wanted to echo a the several or uh, one of uh, the colors I have in the flowers in the background uh, usually I would uh, take a fan brush and do a splatter of acrylic paint but I don't know somehow I don't want to use any uh, uh, wet material I don't think it will work here so I'm going to try something else and I hope it will uh, work I have these ink pads but they are kind of the cheap ones and don't always work and I have q-tips and I hope it will work nah. no it's just not pick not picking the paint much the ink whatever let's see maybe this one if not, I will go for no, I don't like it. Okay, splattering it is with acrylic paint. <laughs> not everything works. Okay, so I need uh, 
some kind of uh, orange uh, here it is bright orange Water, it needs to be watered down. And where is my fan brush? Okay, maybe more water. Okay, nice enough. <laughs> As I thought, uh, because of the gesso, maybe because it's a homemade gesso, uh, the splatter just uh, sp spreads out. But it's good enough for me for the background. As I said, it's really simple. There are no uh, multiple uh, layers here. And I'm just going to glue down my word for this page simplify and I'm done with this uh, page I don't know where to put it I'm gonna put it here okay now everything needs to dry down and this is it for now for this page I, I'll be back uh, with another video quite soon I, I'm already planning on it I've been experimenting with this kind of thing this is for cookies or cupcakes this is uh, made of, out of paper so of course I will use it for something so if you have this get them ready I'm going to show you what to do with this stuff <laughs> so this is it for now bye